From Elon promoting a random crypto to Nicolas Cage starring in every single movie ever, to Zuck revealing his true lizard form. I'm not. Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard. What do all of these videos have in common? Deep fakes. The deep fake. Deep fake videos. The dangers of deep fakes. Deep fakes have the potential to start World War III, incriminate celebrities for crimes they didn't commit, and even steal your identity. Deep fakes are a problem, and this is a story of how Intel, a $200 billion US tech giant, has just fixed that problem. Put more simply, a deepfake is a video, image or recording that seems real but isn't. Imagine a world where seeing no longer equates to believing, where AI and machine learning have blurred the lines between reality and fiction. And no, I'm not talking about Black Mirror. This is the real world. This is now. This is the world of deepfakes. A deepfake leverages AI and machine learning to manipulate media, and it's posing an existential threat to the very fabric of truth. The term deepfake was first coined on Reddit, disturbingly yet unsurprisingly a testament to humans' innate darker side. A subreddit under the name deepfake grew in popularity to over 100,000 members as a place to share explicit videos of the faces of female celebrities swapped onto the bodies of adult actresses in pornographic content. It was shut down by Reddit on February 7th, 2018, but that hasn't stopped the problem. And more recently, explicit deepfake pictures of Taylor Swift have been circling social media and have sparked concern amongst US Congress for tighter legislation around this technology. But the manipulation of image and video has been around for almost as long as the film industry itself. And despite their controversial nature, deepfakes have been used for positive and creative purposes in the film industry for decades. A great example of Star Wars Rogue One, where the filmmakers used a form of this technology to recreate a younger version of Princess Leia, originally portrayed by the late actor Carrie Fisher. And in the realm of language dubbing, deepfakes have revolutionized how we experience media across different cultures. As Uncle Ben in Spider-Man says, with great power comes great responsibility, but also great potential for misuse. And unfortunately, evil is deeply ingrained within humans. As the tools to create deepfakes have become more accessible and user-friendly, the scale of abuse has expanded exponentially. Deepfake pornography makes up for 98% of all deepfake videos online and is often used to tarnish reputations and exploit others. Politicians aren't immune either and have become targets to elaborate schemes to sway public opinions before elections. Take this video of Barack Obama. Yet, it's not actually Obama. It's actor and comedian Jordan Peele. And this damage isn't just reputational. The FBI reported a staggering loss of $10.2 billion last year due to deepfake related financial scams. Before we try and fix the problem, we first need to understand how this technology works. Deepfakes are made using Generative Adversarial Networks, or GANs for short. This is a machine learning model in which two neural networks compete with each other by using deep learning methods that become more accurate in their predictions. But what on earth does that mean? Well, let me try and break it down for you. Picture an art competition where there's an artist that's trying to replicate masterpieces like the Mona Lisa or Van Gogh's flowers or Claude Monet's lilies. But there's also a judge that's scoring the art on how close the replica is to the original masterpiece. The artist keeps improving his drawings based on the judge his feedback until he gets to the point where the judge can't tell the difference between the replica drawing and the real thing. Deepfakes are basically two smart computer programs in a constant learning game to create a super realistic fake video or photo. Understanding the mechanism of a deepfake is vital for understanding how to outsmart them and that's where Intel steps in with their solution, fighting fire with fire. Intel is a $200 billion US tech giant that's been at the forefront of tech innovation for decades. On November 14th, 2022, Intel launched Fake Catcher. This was their answer to the deepfake problem, boasting a remarkable 96% accuracy rate in detecting deepfakes. Most deep learning detectors look at raw data to try and find signs of inauthenticity and identify what is wrong with the video. The problem with that then is that most systems are then playing catch up and they analyze content after it's already been disseminated. So even when it is a successful algorithm, it's usually too late because the content is already out there. Whereas Intel's solution is the world's first real-time deep fake detector that returns results in milliseconds. So how have they managed this? Well, the secret is in our blood. Remember how I used the analogy of the artist and the judge earlier? Well, now imagine a third judge stepping in, equipped with a magnifying glass that's focusing on the smallest details of the painting produced by the artist. The brush strokes, the paint texture, the stuff the bare naked eye can't see. This is Intel's deep fake catcher, and its magnifying glass is a sophisticated technology known as photoplethysmography, or PPG for short. PPG makes use of low intensity infrared light. When this light travels through biological tissue, it's absorbed by bones, skin, pigment, 
venous and arterial blood and so on. But since light is more strongly absorbed by the blood than the surrounding tissue, the changes in blood flow can be detected by PPG sensors. This is effectively how your Apple Watch is able to detect your heart rate. So Intel's Fake Catcher analyzes and focuses on small subtle changes like blood flow in the pixels of a video. When our heart pumps blood at a small microscopic level, the color of our skin changes. And Intel's Fake Catcher uses this principle to look for these subtle blood flow patterns in the pixels of a video. Deep fakes, no matter how realistic, haven't been able to accurately mimic this blood flow pattern. So even if the fake video looks real, the heartbeat pattern might be wrong or missing. The technology coupled with AI has been able to fight fire with fire and been able to detect deep fakes in real time. So has Intel fixed a deep fake problem? Well, not quite, but the real fix will be when Intel collaborates with big social media organizations like X or Instagram, and they can leverage this technology to prevent users from even uploading harmful deep fake content in the first place. Additionally, global news organizations and outlets can use the detector to avoid inadvertently amplifying manipulated videos. We live in a time where seeing was supposed to be believing, but instead now this isn't true. Scrutinize everything with a critical eye as the new technological age has built a reality that isn't real. If you don't want to fall into the matrix, then make sure you subscribe. And I hope you've enjoyed this documentary. Let me know in the comments what topics I should cover next and see you next time.